So now that we have an overview of the UCP architecture, let's talk a bit about how UCP is installed and how you can join nodes. So there's several containers here, but you don't have to install all of these containers individually when you're running UCP. You run the UCP tool, which is a tool that runs a single container on your, on your initial host, which then bootstraps several other of these containers here. So you run docker slash UCP install, and you can find the details for this process online. This process causes the UCP controller to be installed on your host, along with the swarm manager, the key value store, as well as the client CA and the cluster CA. It also, in the initial deployment of UCP, allows the UCP controller to act as a node for running application workloads as well. So it'll add both the UCP proxy as well as the heartbeat, con the heartbeat container to the original node as well. So that's how you do an initial install. When you want to create and add new nodes to the cluster, you'll stand up your node using whatever process you use, whether it's spinning up a VM or bringing a physical server online. Then you'll run the same Docker UCP tool except you'll do what's called a join. The join is itself another bootstrapper container that adds the UCP swarm join and the UCP proxy to each node. As a part of this process, uh, the UCP tool will ask you for the IP address of the swarm manager and main control, primary controller. So you provide it with that key level of access and that allows the USB node to stand up these containers and join it back to the cluster. Thanks for watching this one. Please check out the next video in the series.